from God. He didn't have to, but I'm glad about it. Can I get a witness? When did you last thank God for your mental alertness or functional memory? And how many of you have ever experienced the frustrating moment of not being able to just remember? Come on. Looking for your glasses, wondering where you laid them and they were on your head, amen. It's on the tip of your tongue. If you're trying to get it out, but you can't get it out, you can see it in your mind, but the words just don't come to you. And you, you got more than one child and you, you can't remember their names, amen. Anybody ever done that? <laughs> When you have total recall of events and people, when you can remember, you ought to say thank you. All right. Amen. Well, there's going to come a day. Yeah. Right. Amen. Somebody said thank you. Thank you. How many of you uh, said thanks to being able to just hold a job? Amen. Sometimes having a job has absolutely nothing to do with education or experience. Anybody know him to be worthy? <laughs> yes, he is. James 1, 17 says, every good and perfect gift is from above and coming down from the Father of lights, with whom is no bearableness, neither shadow of turning. How can we have faith for the future if we don't often look back and thank God for all that he's already done, for all he's given in the past. I tell you, somebody ought to tell them thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Amen. We, we become numb to his many benefits. We're blessed. Truly blessed. We, I, we take uh, being able to make a, a telephone call for granted. We do. I mean, I mean, did you know that more than half of the people on the globe have never had that experience? Hmm. Can, can anyone remember having to go to a neighbor's house to make a phone call? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody remember party lines? Yeah. When you share a line with somebody else? Yeah. We have so many things in our lives that we that we look down on, that we that we don't take advantage of or we take for granted. A, a closet so full, clothes, some still have tags on it. Our pantry is full. Sometimes we're having to throw away food because we held on to it too long. All right. A refrigerator is full. Gas tank may be empty, but we don't have to wait in a long line to fill it up. A lack of gratitude. It is, in fact, one of our troubling sins. My Lord. In, in, in churches everywhere this morning, that there's somebody pumping and begging somebody to give thanksgiving and <laughs> praise. My Lord. We're too occupied with our problems or our strongholds. We, we concentrate on what we don't have rather than just enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts would pray. Yes, yes. Think of the many times we we found, and I say ourselves, in, in some kind of bind, and, and we've had to pray with desperation. Oh, please, God. Please, mm -hmm, God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes we even make promises. If you'll just get me out of this, I promise you I'll, I'll serve you, I'll, I'll, I'll thank you, and I'll honor you forever. Look, I'm, I'm not too proud to say that I, I prayed that prayer once or twice, several times. But I can't forget all that God has done for me. All right. Hebrews 13 and 15 says, by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Yes, Lord. I tell you, I can't help but give him thanks. All right. I can't help but open my mouth to tell God, thank you. Joshua is, is grateful for all the 
things that God has already done. And, and so he turns his attention to the future. He, he's at the end of his life. And, and you might think that he would be satisfied with what he had already achieved. And for the first uh, 22 chapters of the book, uh, the story is told of how he has led the Israelites in conquering city after city. City after city. Yes. Troops have already fallen. But, but Joshua is not satisfied. He boldly proclaims the Lord your God. Him, himself, God will drive, drive out the remaining Canaanite nations. He's he going to drive them out of your way. <laughs> My he, Lord. He's going to push them out before you. And you will take possession of their land. As the Lord your God has promised you. Joshua is still at this point in his life invoking the promises of God. My Lord. Still. He's still at the point of his life. Joshua is boldly declaring the Lord your God himself will do the comfort. You don't have to fight. God's going to do it. Every one of us, if we're honest, can point to some things in our life today that are not yet the way God wants them to be. All right. All right. In other words, there's still a good deal of land, territory that needs to be come. All right. And there still may be some strongholds lingering. Goodness. You know how we used to say, I thank God that I'm not what I used to be. But, uh, but I'm telling you, I, I'm bubbling over. <laughs> because I, I know he's still working on me. All right. Yeah. He, he's still shaping me. Yeah. How many of you know that God wants us to be more like the Savior? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For us to be Christ-like, he has to root out some stuff that hinders, that gets in the way of our being Christ-like. He wants to use us to bless and encourage other people in ways that we have never experienced or even dreamed. He wants to destroy meanness and evilness. My Lord. He wants to stamp out stubbornness and disobedience. I'm not calling any names. He <laughs> wants to destroy the complexes and the fears that paralyze us. Yes. He, he wants to get rid of the pettiness that divides us. Yes, right. yes. He wants to revive us and to bless us. And I'm, and I'm talking about the church. Philippians 1 and 6. This being confident of this very yes, thing, yes, that he which <laughs> had begun a good work in you will perform Thank you, Lord. until the day of Jesus Christ. Anybody know that God's a promise keeper? Oh, yes, he is. Yes, yes. Tell your neighbor, God's going to do it himself. God's going to do it himself. Mm. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Joshua turns to the future and, and notice that faith operates in respect to special objects, future things, things that we hope for, and invisible things, things that we don't even see. Faith is not about the present. It, it is not about things you could capture right now with a camera. But, but faith is about things in the future promised by God. All right. And, and, and faith says, I'm certain that these things are going to come into fruition. Faith produces a conviction that those things are going to happen. Even though uh, the scientific method and our 
senses can't validate it with certainty. No, 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 no. Not at the moment. No, no. Science will say that, that it has to act this way. Uh -huh. Science <laughs> says that this is the way you can expect to feel because of what is happening. Science says it's because of all we've studied and experienced, this and that, not that, but this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And even in our senses, how we feel right now just doesn't line up. Hmm. Somebody understands what I'm saying. God, I don't feel victorious. Hmm. I'm healed, but I'm still hurt. My Lord. My way will be prosperous. But right now, I'm a little perplexed. Uh-huh, okay. And, and I really don't know how I'm going to make it. Faith is the ability of the human spirit to open up and receive impressions from God. Feel his presence that are born from his word, his promises, and then made alive by the Holy Spirit. All right. In other words, I will not be defeated. All right. Why? Because Romans 8 and 37 says, Nay, in all these things, things yes, we yes. are more than conquerors through him that loved us. I, I'm in such a predicament that I don't even know what to ask for. My Lord. Ephesians 3 and 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that working in us. <laughs> Faith is, is knowing that something is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Because God's word has been received and it has caused something to move on the inside. We bank on it. Yeah. We act like it. All right. Talk like it. All right. If somebody says prove it, we can't. But we still know it's coming. My blessing is on the way. Yes. 